The Nile River flows through Egypt, a ribbon of life in a desert land. Our destination is the Valley of the Kings, a hidden necropolis nestled on the west bank of the Nile. Here lie the tombs of some of Egypt's most powerful rulers, a portal to another time. Join us as we descend into these subterranean chambers where hieroglyphs dance upon the walls. The Valley of the Kings is a desolate and awe-inspiring place. Towering cliffs rise from the desert floor, their ochre hues baking under the relentless sun. The valley, shaped like a Y, contains the majority of the royal tombs, hidden entrances cut into the cliffs. As we explore, we will encounter the tombs of some of Egypt's most famous rulers. The tombs are works of art, each unique in design and decoration. Walls adorned with carvings and paintings depict the pharaoh's life and journey to the afterlife. Treasures buried with the pharaoh provide a glimpse into ancient Egyptian life. Discoveries like Tutankhamun's tomb offer invaluable insights into their culture and history. Our journey begins at the edge of the desert where the Nile's green embrace gives way to sun-baked sands. A winding road leads us westward towards the realm of the dead. The silence is absolute, broken only by the occasional cry of a hawk. The tombs of the pharaohs await hidden among the cliffs. As we approach the Valley of the Kings, the Colossi of Memnon emerge from the desert haze. These statues stand guard at the gateway to the necropolis, a testament to the grandeur of the pharaohs. The ancient Egyptians believed the tombs were protected by powerful spirits and magical spells. As we pass between the Colossi, we enter a world where the line between the living and the dead blurs. The air grows heavy as we descend into the first tomb, the sunlight fading behind us. The walls are covered in hieroglyphics and paintings, their colors still vibrant. We move from chamber to chamber, marveling at the opulence of these underground palaces. Standing in the burial chamber, we are struck by the ephemeral nature of life and the enduring power of belief. Hidden for centuries, the tomb of Tutankhamun captured the world's imagination. In 1922, Howard Carter discovered the sealed doorway to the tomb. Inside, gilded statues, alabaster chests, and the gleam of gold awaited. Carter's discovery provided a wealth of information about ancient Egyptian culture. Stepping into Tutankhamun's tomb is like stepping back in time. The antechamber is a jumble of objects, chariots, statues, and chests. The burial chamber houses Tutankhamun's sarcophagus, a golden shrine encased in nested coffins. The richness of the tomb is overwhelming, a testament to the power and wealth of the New Kingdom pharaohs. The discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb sparked a worldwide sensation. Newspapers claimed a curse would befall anyone who disturbed the tomb. Despite the rumors, Tutankhamun's legacy endures, providing unparalleled insights into ancient Egypt. As we leave the tomb, we carry a sense of wonder and awe, ready to uncover more secrets of the Valley of the Kings. Our journey through the Valley of the Kings now leads us to one of its most impressive tombs, the final resting place of a pharaoh, who embodies the power and grandeur of ancient Egypt, Ramses II, also known as Ramses the Great. His name echoes through history, a testament to a reign that spanned over six decades, a period marked by ambitious building projects, military campaigns, and unprecedented prosperity. Ramses II ascended to the throne as a young man, inheriting a kingdom already strong and prosperous. Driven by an unquenchable thirst for glory, he would go on to expand Egypt's borders, leading his armies into battle against the Hittites, Nubians, and other rivals. His victories, immortalized in epic poems and temple reliefs, cemented his reputation as a fearsome warrior and a masterful strategist. But Ramses II was more than just a conqueror. He was also a prolific builder, his reign marked by a flurry of construction activity that transformed the face of Egypt. 
from the monumental temples of Abu Simbel in the south to the grand additions to the temple complex at Karnak, his building project served to glorify the gods, commemorate his victories and showcase the wealth and power of his kingdom. Ramses II understood the power of imagery and he used it to cultivate his image as a god king, a living embodiment of Horus, the falcon-headed god of kingship. His colossal statues, towering over temples and plazas, proclaimed his divine right to rule, their imposing presence a constant reminder of his authority and might. Hidden deep within the Valley of the Kings, Tomb KV-7, the resting place of Ramses the Great, awaits our exploration. Ramses II's tomb is a sprawling complex, a labyrinth of chambers and corridors extending deep into the earth. It is a testament to the Pharaoh's status, his wealth, and the ancient Egyptian belief in a grand afterlife. As we descend into the tomb, we are enveloped in coolness and silence. The air is heavy with the scent of time and stone. The walls, once vibrantly painted, now bear the muted hues of millennia. Ramses II is depicted battling his enemies and making offerings to the gods. The tomb is designed to guide the Pharaoh's spirit on its journey to the afterlife. We encounter the Hall of Pillars its massive columns a symbol of the pharaoh's enduring power. The burial chamber, where Ramses II's granite sarcophagus once lay, is a testament to his belief in his own divinity. Though plundered, the tomb still emanates an aura of power and majesty. The sheer scale of the complex and the intricate carvings serve as a powerful reminder of the pharaoh's enduring legacy. Ramses II's reign marked a high point in ancient Egyptian civilization. His military campaigns secured Egypt's borders, his building projects transformed the landscape, and his diplomacy established peace and prosperity for his kingdom. He ruled for so long, and his impact was so profound that he became a legend in his own time, his name synonymous with power, prosperity, and divine kingship. Even in death, Ramses II continued to command attention. His mummy, discovered in the late 19th century, became the subject of international intrigue, its journey to Cairo a media sensation. Today it rests in the Egyptian Museum, a testament to the enduring fascination with this powerful ruler, his face, preserved by time and the embalmer's art, still bearing the weight of his long reign. As we emerge from the tomb of Ramses II, back into the sunlight of the Valley of the Kings, we carry with us a deeper understanding of the Pharaoh's legacy. He was a ruler who understood the power of image, of spectacle, of leaving an indelible mark on the world. His monuments, his temples, his tomb, they all stand as a testament to his ambition, his vision, and his enduring place in history. But the Valley of the Kings has more to reveal, more stories to tell. Our journey through this ancient necropolis is not yet over. Ahead lie more tombs, more secrets, more glimpses into the lives and afterlives of the pharaohs who ruled ancient Egypt. While Tutankhamun and Ramses II often dominate the narrative of the Valley of the Kings, their tombs are just the tip of the iceberg. The valley is a treasure trove of history, with over 60 discovered tombs, each offering a unique window into ancient Egyptian beliefs and practices. These other tombs, while perhaps less opulent, are no less significant in piecing together the puzzle of this ancient civilization. One such tomb belongs to Thutmose III, a pharaoh known for his military prowess and expansion of the Egyptian empire. His tomb, KV-34, is unique for its cartouche-shaped burial chamber and its location away from the main valley, reflecting his desire to be separate even in death. The walls of his tomb, adorned with texts from the Book of Amduat, a guide to the underworld, offer a glimpse into the pharaoh's journey through the afterlife. Another fascinating tomb is that of Seti I, Ramses II's father, KV-17, known for its elaborate decorations and impressive length, is considered one of the most beautiful in the valley. Its walls are covered with vibrant scenes from the Book of Gates, another funerary text detailing the challenges and triumphs that awaited the pharaoh in the afterlife. The tomb's intricate astronomical ceiling, depicting the constellations and their movements, highlights the ancient Egyptians' deep understanding of the cosmos. These are just two examples among many. Each tomb, whether belonging to a powerful pharaoh 
a beloved queen or a high-ranking official, contributes to our understanding of ancient Egyptian society, their beliefs, rituals, and daily life. The Valley of the Kings wasn't solely the domain of pharaohs. Hidden amongst the grand royal tombs are smaller, yet equally fascinating tombs belonging to queens, princesses, and high-ranking officials. These tombs, while less lavish, offer a glimpse into the lives and afterlives of those who lived and served in the shadow of the pharaohs. One such tomb belongs to Nefertari, the beloved wife of Ramses II. Her tomb, QV66, located in the nearby Valley of the Queens, is a testament to the love and esteem Ramses held for her. Its walls are adorned with breathtakingly beautiful paintings, depicting Nefertari's journey through the underworld and her reception by the gods. The vibrant colors and intricate details of these paintings, remarkably well-preserved, offer a glimpse into the artistry and skill of the period. Another notable tomb is KV-46, the resting place of Yuya and Tuya, the parents of Queen Tiya, wife of Amenhotep III. Their tomb, discovered in 1905, contained a wealth of well-preserved artifacts, including furniture, chariots, and even Yuya's intact funerary mask. These objects provide invaluable insights into the lives of the elite during the New Kingdom, their wealth, status, and the importance placed on preparing for the afterlife. The tombs of queens and nobles, while less grand in scale, are no less important in understanding the social structure, beliefs, and artistic achievements of ancient Egyptian civilization. They provide a more intimate perspective on life and death in the shadow of the pharaohs. The Valley of the Kings is not a static, unchanging museum. It is a living, breathing archeological site where new discoveries continue to be made, adding to our understanding of this ancient necropolis and the civilization it represents. The desert sands, once thought to have yielded all their secrets, still hold the potential for revealing more about the pharaohs and their times. In recent years, archaeologists have unearthed new tombs, unearthed forgotten artifacts, and employed cutting-edge technology to scan the valley floor, searching for hidden chambers and undiscovered burial sites. The discovery of KV-63 in 2005, a tomb containing seven wooden coffins and a wealth of funerary goods reignited the world's fascination with the Valley of the Kings and highlighted the fact that there is still much to learn about this ancient burial ground. The ongoing work in the Valley of the Kings is not just about uncovering more treasures or adding names to the historical record. It is about using the latest scientific techniques to analyze ancient materials, decipher faded inscriptions, and piece together the stories of the people who lived, worked, and were laid to rest in this sacred valley. It is about bringing the past to life, not just for academics and archaeologists, but for everyone who is captivated by the mystery and grandeur of ancient Egypt. The Valley of the Kings, with its silent tombs and hidden chambers, continues to whisper its secrets across the millennia, inviting us to listen, to learn, and to marvel at the achievements of a civilization that continues to captivate the world. As we stand at the edge of the Valley of the Kings, the setting sun casting long shadows across the silent tombs, we can't help but feel a sense of awe and humility. We have journeyed through time, walked in the footsteps of pharaohs and witnessed the grandeur of their final resting places. The Valley of the Kings is more than just a burial ground. It is a testament to the enduring human desire to leave a mark on the world. The pharaohs, though long gone, still speak to us through the legacy they left behind. Their tombs with their elaborate decorations and hidden chambers offer a glimpse into their beliefs and aspirations. They remind us that even the most powerful rulers were mortal. Yet they sought to transcend this fate, to ensure that their names and deeds would be remembered for eternity. The Valley of the Kings is a reminder that we are all part of a larger story, connecting us to the people who came before us. The pharaohs, with their ambitions and their flaws, were human beings who lived and loved, ruled and were ruled. 
Their stories, etched into the very fabric of this place, offer us a glimpse into the human condition. As the last rays of sunlight fade behind the western cliffs, we are left with a profound sense of the passage of time, the rise and fall of civilizations. The Valley of the Kings, with its silent tombs and its untold stories, stands as a timeless reminder of our shared humanity and the enduring legacy of the past. The Valley of the Kings is not just a place of ancient history, it is a place of timeless lessons. As we emerge from the valley, we carry with us reflections on life, death, and the human condition. The pharaohs offer us a timeless reminder of our own mortality, urging us to live lives worthy of remembrance. Their obsession with the afterlife might seem futile, yet it speaks to a human desire to find meaning. The Egyptians believed death was a transition to another realm where they would be judged for their deeds. The Valley of the Kings reminds us that true wealth lies in the legacy we leave behind. The pharaohs are remembered for their deeds and contributions to civilization. As we leave the Valley of the Kings, we are challenged to consider our own place in the grand tapestry of time.